the theme for my homily today is transform our homes into sanctuaries of faith. Imagine your family as a garden. Sunlight streams through the windows, warming the soil where seeds of love, trust, and forgiveness have been planted. But remember, these seeds won't sprout overnight. Just like rain patiently nourishes the earth, God's love works steadily within our families, causing our relationships to blossom in their own time. Lent is a season of introspection, but not isolation. We journey together just like families. The struggles and joys we face are fertile ground for learning and growth. In the Lord's Prayer, we find a guidebook for this shared journey. It reminds us to prioritize our spiritual well-being, putting love and kindness ahead of material possessions. It teaches us to trust God's provision, knowing that He offers not just food on the table, but also the sustenance of love, peace, and understanding. Think of your family as a team, you know, playing the most important game of all. What is that? Love. <laughs> there will be disagreements like, uh, you know, fumbles in a game. But just like teammates forgive each other and rise up stronger, we can choose a practice and we can choose to practice forgiveness, remembering that love endures all things. And this Lent, let's transform our homes into sanctuaries of faith. Let prayer be the rain that nourishes our relationships, washing away negativity and cultivating compassion. Let trust be the sunshine that warms our hearts, reminding us that God is always present, guiding us towards love and unity. What are some of the practical steps that we could take to transform our homes into sanctuaries of faith? We create a prayer space. Pray together, share faith stories, serve together, forgive and seek forgiveness, cultivate gratitude, engage with scripture, attend mass together, and encourage individual spiritual growth. So some of the suggestions, you can add to it, you know. Uh, friends and families, hold on to hope. The seeds of faith that you sow in the hearts of your children will never go without bearing fruit. Just like rain never returns empty, God's word planted in our hearts will bear fruit. We may not see it instantly, but with patience and love, our families will blossom into heavens heavens of faith, forgiveness, and unwavering love. And remember, you are not alone in this journey. God walks beside you, beside you, and your family is your team. Together, you can create a home that reflects the kingdom of God on earth, a vibrant garden where love, trust, and forgiveness bloom eternally. God bless you and your families. Amen.